Well, well, well. It's me again, Samantha from SS Twins. I'm recording all of these videos within like a one to two day period of these Saw characters, but I'm not sure when I'm releasing them yet, so who knows how far in the future you will have seen this. I'm back drawing more Saw characters who don't get enough merch, except for this time you will see that I draw one character who does have um, some merch, and that is Amanda. But I, I felt wrong because I just kept drawing characters, and I had drawn John, and John has some official merch, so I felt weird about not including Amanda, so I drew her anyway. Anyway, back to the subject at hand. This is Perez, baby. I love her so much. I think she's so cool. Um, coming into these characters, I took requests for who to draw, because I thought the last part would be just the last part. But then I was like, well, I kind of want to draw Perez. And then, I don't know. I was like, I guess I'll take requests to see who else people want drawn. And it turns out there was eight of them. So, uh, not complaining. It was super fun to work on these. Um, I had some trouble with her hair because I couldn't figure out the whole ponytail situation because she has a high ponytail and not a low ponytail. And I could not figure out how to make that look good. So I just kind of winged it. And it kind of looks just like the low ponytail girls, but that's okay. I just didn't want the ponytail sticking off the side of her head, you know? I thought that would look silly. But here I am tidying her up. Also, you'll notice no watermark this time because I discovered that through my school. I have access to Adobe Premiere Pro and this is life changing. This is so good. I'm so excited to be able to use this at least until summer happens and then who knows what we'll do. <laughs> so I spent a long time fiddling on her skin tone because her ethnicity is Greek and Egyptian, her actress. And I wanted to it to be kind of olive toned. And see, I think it looks fine here, but then when I brought it over to Instagram, I thought it looked kind of desaturated. So I ended up saturating it a little bit more than you'll see here. And I think that it looks good, but I don't know. I don't know what's perfect. I just don't want it to be desaturated and um, flat, you know? So still working on it, because I'm not color picking from the photos of the actors because then all the colors would be wild. Um, you see, does that look a little desaturated? Am I crazy? I, I do fix it. Not in this video, but I do fix it. I made a couple of changes that are not in this video that I will explain as we get to them. Well, the first change is changing her Perez's skin tone. And then the second change is, you know how I was talking about how I should give Carrie freckles? I did it, um, but it's not recorded. So just trust me, the freckles are there. Anyway, more people with green eyes. Hers are like very deep greenish brown, but they are green. I was like, oh my god, all these green-eyed and blue-eyed people. But don't worry, we get some more girls with brown eyes in here. And, ex and, and boys with brown eyes, very exciting. Also, I gave her this little skin mark next to her eye. I think it's cute. I don't know. Sometimes I make an accidental little mark and then I'm like obsessed with it. And I think it looks so good that I have to keep it. So I did keep the little mark next to her eye and no one's told me, hey, she doesn't have a mark next to her eye. What would I do if someone told me that? I'd be like, this is my creative license. <laughs> next character, someone requested Art Blank. Is that his last name Blank? Yeah. Um, I was so surprised. I never thought someone would ask for him because I didn't think he was that popular, but I decided to draw him in his trap even though he has some other outfits just because, I don't know, I wanted to. I, I thought it was very distinctive. Also, I realized because I was drawing more people in traps this time around and I realized that when I draw people in a trap, I usually like them to have really tiny little eyes, but with this style of eyes, I can't really draw eyes that are any smaller than other eyes and I have to really rely on the mouth and eyebrows which is fine but yeah um I couldn't figure out quite his pants but I think I figured out his shoes I think his pants are light slacks but I just couldn't tell so I just decided to make them generic like pants I don't know <laughs> these are the most pants pants you've ever seen um doing some erasing I kind of gave him like sneakery things. I think there's like sneakers. Also, I didn't do the chain around his neck. I I don't know. I just didn't want to. I I, I mean, it wouldn't be connected to anything. It would just kind of look awkward. So I don't think he needs it. Then I spent a while looking up his actor to figure out skin and hair colors, and I forget what ethnicity his actor is. So 
Uh, you'll just have to trust that it's a little bit of a deeper tone, um, but I don't actually remember. With brown eyes! Brown eyed people are back! Woo! <laughs> We've only been waiting for like, <laughs> what was it, like nine characters or something? Maybe eight? And I go through and do my filling of everything. Make it look nice. Also, I am notoriously bad at giving people, like, a shirt that rides up a little bit and shows a little bit of their stomach. I don't know why I keep doing that, but I did. Also, my fan just turned on, so please forgive any fan noises you might hear. There's me doing the blush. Very cute, very cute. I mean, it's not that cute because his mouth is literally sewn shut, but... I gave him some little laces on his shoes, just because I thought the shoes were kind of falling apart. And then I gave him some crunkled shirt. Man, my vocabulary lately has just been crazy. Crunkly, scrunkly, this is shinies. And a little bit of crazy hair that you get when you're in a trap. <laughs> and he's done. Next character, you cannot guess, but you will be excited to see it. <laughs> The next two characters are a set. And I spent some time. I really should <laughs> delete these parts where I'm looking them up. Okay, here it is. Did you guess right? It's Malik from Saw 5. So many people don't like Saw 5, and I don't understand it at all. The only drawback to Saw 5 is that it doesn't have Amanda in it. But the trap is so good and interesting. It's awesome. And then the Strom and Hoffman drama is really great. So I just... I consider it a win all around. I think that's my third favorite Saw movie. Even beating out Saw 6. He has another one of those boys with like a scruffy little updo thing that I just couldn't figure out. Ugh, so annoying. But I think I got there in the end. Kind of with that curved piece. I got to give him the real nervous eyes. <laughs> just like Laura. People who are in a trap who are scared. You're not ready to see what I do to this man. You will not be ready. So, you, you cannot guess because of what I'm drawing now, what it will turn into. I'm drawing him in his outfit with his shirt. Um, and then he wears an over shirt that's like the same thing. It was so confusing, but it, it's pretty cute. It's like two collared shirt things on top of each other. I think this is the point when I realized, what am I doing? I wanted him to not be wearing the over shirt <laughs> because I'm drawing a very specific moment that you will see soon. And he's got blue jeans, so I did the little blue jean stripey thing that I've been doing. And I gave him some sneakers. I think that was right. I could barely see them, but I'm pretty sure they were sneakers. Doing my little erasing. Give him some little shirt buttons and everything. I've been off and on about giving people buttons. Okay, here it is. <laughs> the arm when he when he puts his arm into the machine and then it gets like cut down the middle. I, was, I shouldn't be laughing because that was really traumatizing, but... And then I discovered that his shirt actually is like a polo and not actually a button down. So then I had to change up the whole thing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sorry if the arm traumatizes you. It was... <laughs> drawing people with like missing body parts and traps was, it was kind of my thing in this series. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, I gave him a, a few little scrunchy shirt things brown-haired boy, and I had to Google his eyes. This is me kind of coloring those sneakery things, and then this is me Googling the eyes, and they're blue! Pretty light blue, too. I go through and fill everything. You notice I did not do the little green squaggly backgrounds on these, but I, there I just I just had to see what I was doing. But I stopped doing the green backgrounds. I don't, I mean, I did it on Amanda. I don't know. I don't know why I stopped. Don't ask me questions. Also, you can see that when I redrew his shirt, it's riding up a little to show a tiny bit of his stomach. Don't ask what is happening. I just think the short shirts are cute. Okay, there's the blood from the torn up arm. A little traumatic. <laughs> It was a blush, and then I changed the color because I thought it wasn't red enough. Like, I don't know, little blushing, little blushing boys. I'm just like Adam, I'm gonna have some real blush. Okay, the fan turned off, so. 
And then he has these little stripes on his shirt, so I did those. Is it a polo if it's long sleeve? I actually don't know. I did a little eye fade thing, and I did go back and do that to every character. Did I say that in the last part? But I fixed it and they look really nice. Actually, I think you saw it in the last part, but so now they all have that little fadey thing. Then I'm looking up the next character, part of the set. Can you guess? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> In my opinion, getting some good reference images, hopefully of some feet. All right, it's Brit, <laughs> and I had to get a reference image of her when she's not wearing her like suit jacket because this is when she takes off her shirt and she's got her little undershirt and she's gonna put her arm in the machine. Oh my god! But I struggled with drawing bangs. I always have struggled with drawing bangs, and I'm still working out a style for bangs that works well with my art style. I don't know, I just find it so hard. But it made her hair a little scruffy. And I take some chunks out of the bangs and I actually think that looked great. So I made her, she's a little less nervous than him. She's a little more confident, but she's still kind of scared. She's got to put her arm. <laughs> I'm so happy someone requested these guys because I totally forgot about them and they are just awesome. So she's actually, girl with a skirt the first girl with a skirt that i've drawn how many have i drawn by now like 12 i don't know but she's the first girl with a skirt and so she's supposed to be wearing that little suit top thing and then she's got this big chunky belt and then she's got like a skirt that goes down to your knees and tights um but then this is when she takes off the suit thing and so just her undershirt right now it looks like a dress that's why i put those temporary colors on there just so you could, I was like, will it look like a dress? And then I was like, no, it's fine. Also, she wears heels. So fun. First girl in heels. I don't know. We're just going crazy. I think the heels turn out really well for her. And later I draw someone else in heels and they look kind of stupid. And so I took them away. <laughs> well, I, well, that girl, like the other girl, I couldn't see her feet. And so I was just kind of guessing. So I, I think it's fine that I didn't draw the heels on her. But so there's like the bottom half is that brown and originally her top is brown also so it all kind of goes together and then i do some googling of eye colors and stuff hair colors i was convinced that her hair was red and i still believe that but it's her actress's hair is blonde i'm pretty sure i was like what they made her change it why <laughs> like darker hair to be more sophisticated i guess but it, I, I think it's more brown. But I used my creative freedom again and decided that it's kind of a more reddish brown. <laughs> I mean, my creative freedom in these, who's gonna stop me? The other person who's drawn Brit, I would like to see another drawing of her. I, I don't know if there is one. I'm sure there must be at least one, but I get to do whatever I want. <laughs> and then I gave her a little boob because <laughs> she's wearing a shirt that's low enough to expose a little bit of that. So I don't know, I think it's cute. Then I stole the blood color from Malik because I wanted them to match. So cute buddies and they can hold hands. I think that's so cute. I don't know if during the whole movie they're, she's like right-handed and he's left-handed or something. I hope that's true because I think that's really cute that they were like holding on to each other. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't say cute because it was really traumatizing, but I think it's a sweet moment. I don't know. I think it's very human. That's a good word for it. And so it really means a lot to me, just their part and the way they interact and their trap. I don't know. Then on the request of my sister and co-owner of this YouTube channel, Sarah, I'm drawing Simone. I bet you didn't know her name was Simone. Surprise. And I decided to draw her in her trap because I think that's the most iconic look. Um, although she does have some other outfits in Saw 3D and this is her look in Saw 6. So now I'm playing around. I actually gave her closed eyes because I thought that would be fun. Also, her shirt is literally so cute. It's got like little puffy sleeves. I kind of exaggerated them a lot, but I think it's so cute. <laughs> then pants, I couldn't quite figure out. I was like, are they slacks? I was like, should I give them the little slack lines? And then I took those away. Um, I think she's really great and she definitely needs more rep. So I was happy to be able to do this drawing of her. She's in pain because of what you'll see later that I forgot to draw again at the beginning and I had to add it in later. I mean, it doesn't matter as much for this one because I didn't like draw over what I was trying to draw, but you'll see it in a minute. 
don't know why I, I, would, I would go through the whole process of erasing before I remembered my like creative vision. I literally started coloring her and then I realized my mistake and so I take away her arm. <laughs> she's just like Gordon, she's got the little bones sticking out. <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> her shirt is also such a beautiful blue color. I don't know, really a fan. Also I couldn't figure out her shoes so I gave her the little black shoes. I was really hunching them down. You'll see me change her hair here because I thought I want to see her hair underneath the wires or the, like the contraption. I don't know. What is it called? I mean, I know the trap is called Pound of Flesh, but I don't know what the headpieces are called. Little screw headpieces. Um, but yeah, I wanted you to be able to see her hair through it. So. Also, her skin is also kind of desaturated. And that's comparing it to another character that I drew. I think it looks kind of nice because she kind of has this like pastel-y vibe going on here. I think the slightly desaturated kind of works for that, but I don't know. Might change it. We'll see. So there I am, adding some dimension, giving her a little, little face of pain. <laughs> she's she's concentrating, but I couldn't change the pose, so she's not actively cutting off her arm, but she's already gotten rid of it. Girl boss, the original girl boss. Well, there's a lot of girl bosses in Saw, actually. I think they're pretty great. I added a little blood. I think every girl in Saw is a girl boss. I just like women. What can I say? There's her little shinies, and she's done! I really enjoyed drawing her. I thought it was so fun, and she turned out really cute. Alright, next one. Can you guess? It's another girl. I bet you can't guess because this girl, I did not think anyone would request her. But someone did. I, I, I don't know. You'll see. There's other characters I could have drawn also, like William Easton. I know he's very popular, but no one requested him and I didn't really want to draw him. So if someone requests him, I'll do it. But otherwise, I'm not going to. I was, I spent forever looking for a picture of this girl, but uh, there she is. It's Nina <laughs> from Saw 3D. And I could have either drawn her in her trap, but I thought that would be way too complicated. Plus, I didn't want to draw a straight jacket because literally her, her arms, the arms on the base are out. So I decided to just draw her in her little outfit at the beginning of Saw 3D when she's... What's her occupation? What does she do for William... Bobby. Bobby. What does she do for him? I don't remember. Someone should request Bobby's wife because I like her and I don't think she deserved to be in a trap at all because she literally didn't do anything. I think that's the most unjustified trap of them all is Bobby's wife because she didn't even get a chance to save herself. Also, she didn't do anything wrong other than believing a liar. So, sorry, I should be talking about Nina, but I don't know. Please comment your thoughts on um, Bobby's wife. Her name starts with a J, I think. Also, I got to draw glasses for this one. So fun. I'm I'm kind of not that good at drawing glasses. I decided the high heels looked so stupid. I tried to get them to face the other way and it still looked bad. I just couldn't understand why the heels were not working this time. So I ended up just drawing like the flat parts of the shoes and just leaving them at that because I didn't even know if she was wearing heels. But you know, when you're a woman in the 2000s wearing a little suit thing. I think you wear heels, but I, I mean, you can pretend they're heels. I gave her tights also. I couldn't tell if she was wearing tights, but I gave them to her. I'm generous like that. She has brown eyes. Another blonde with brown eyes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got brunettes with, with green eyes, blue eyes. We got blondes with brown eyes. It's crazy. <laughs> no, it's not that crazy. I'm literally a brunette with blue green eyes, but... This is all the brown-eyed people, actually. I think all four, so I drew these in sets of four. All four of these last ones have brown eyes again. It's like the brown-eyed people just congregate. <laughs> so I'm doing a little shading on her. Oh, and then I'm looking at this little thing she's got going on on her, like, vest. Or, what is it called? It's not called a vest. Suit top? I thought it was very cute. Also, you'll notice that for her drawing, I forgot to add the shinies. I'm so embarrassed, but I did add them later. This is me trying to figure out a glasses effect. Then I decided this literally looks so dumb. 
Like, she does not need this glasses back. Also, for a minute there, I was playing around with the idea of just giving her glasses and no eyes. <laughs> but as you can see, I decided against that. Okay, we got another one. Guess who it is? It's someone that you thought I, I should, you probably thought I should have drawn uh, a while ago, and I didn't because I forgot <laughs> about him. But now I'm drawing him. It's Rig! And I decided to draw him not in his police outfit, because I draw, I don't know. I didn't really draw anyone else in the police outfit except for um, Carrie, but I thought that he should be in his outfit from sophomore because he literally wears that outfit the whole movie. But there's him in his police outfit anyway, because I was trying to figure out how to draw his hair. He's got kind of a widow's peak going on. And I could not decide if his hair looks too foxy. I don't know. There's a better word for it, but when it's square, rectangular. So I was trying out like a more rounded thing and then I thought I don't know it made him look a little immature so I decided to just go with the original hairstyle and I think it looks nice it does look like him just kept adding on details to this leather jacket because I <laughs> I don't know it was kind of complicated but probably didn't do the best job drawing it but I tried um and then he wears blue jeans um fun fact but they're like a dark blue kind of what am I looking at here? What, what am I, could I possibly be looking up? It's obviously not his eye color, because I know that's brown. Maybe I was looking for shoes. I think I probably was, but um, I just gave him like Converse shoes. Daniel and Daniel, Converse boys, I don't know. He's in the more casual outfit, so I thought that would be good. Then I was playing around with his skin tone. I was trying to decide if I wanted it to be more red toned or more orangey toned. And then I thought it looked too close to the jacket color. I couldn't figure it out. Because when he's wearing the jacket, they, his skin tone obviously looks very different than the jacket. But when I was drawing it, it looked kind of similar. So I had to play around with that for a while. Shading really helped. And then I was trying to mess around with his mouth and decide. I didn't want him to look angry because he's not really angry. He's just going through it. But couldn't quite figure it out. Um... <laughs> But I think the open mouth, did I draw all four of these? No, Nina doesn't have an open mouth. But I was like, open mouth squad, you have to love it. Going in, filling in the little deets. And then I added some shading to his jacket. Make it look a little more real. Give him some blush, so cute. shading oh yeah you see I did the little little hashtag on his jeans again can't help myself and then I was like I don't know how to do the eye shinies because his hair is textured but I think just normal eye shinies are fine all right finishing him off and then I already spoiled to you who I'm drawing next um, <laughs> So you'll see in a minute as I get started on her, my beloved. Yay! And I didn't even need to look at a drawing of, or a photo of her because I've drawn her in her Saw 2 outfit so many times, it was pretty easy. But I, I was having trouble with an expression, I don't know, I, <laughs> there's me trying out the dot eyes because I wanted to draw her in my favorite pose with the needles sticking out of her. And I was like, well, it looks dumb to have her eyes be like, open I don't know so you'll see I changed the eyes and I think they turned out really nice those eyes were fine though I don't know why I felt like I had to change them but I wanted her to be like a face of pain so I kind of I was copying Simone's expression kind of I gave her a more just a more frightened look or like ah get these needles off of me you know <clears throat> there's the needles just poke 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 I draw her outfit very similar to my cosplay of her with like a lettuce hem, but it's like for this time I didn't do the lettuce hem on the top, which I don't know. I just started drawing and then I realized I didn't do the lettuce hem, but I think it's fine. Also, kind of my pants. <laughs> and she's got a real tummy going on because she's got a little crop top thing, so I got to do that and that was fun. Trying to figure out the colors. Um, there's my old drawing of her, which is a keychain. Then I didn't even color pick from it, I just made them. 
And then I realized I forgot the little, the little cutouts in her pants, so I add those later after I color in all the beetles and everything. After I literally do everything, then I add the little cutouts in her pants, even though I knew I was missing them. I mean, she does not have cutouts in her pants, but I want her to have little rips. I think it's cute. I think it shows struggle. Also, I was filling with that belly button for forever. So embarrassing. You don't want to be focused on drawing a man on your belly button. Also, I had no trouble figuring out that she doesn't wear shoes because people try to gaslight me into believing that she wore shoes. And there's even this picture of Johnny Smith wearing shoes in the bathroom with Daniel. And I was like, she does not wear shoes. I'm 100% sure she doesn't wear shoes. They literally show her feet all the time in Satu. And no, she's not wearing shoes. I do her blush and everything before I add those little pant ribs. She doesn't have reddish blush, I don't know. That's just the way I've always drawn her, so I just kind of left it like that. There's the belly button. There's the rips in the pants. <laughs> Probably should be a rip where the needle went in, but um, I don't feel like it. <laughs> just adding a little shading. Well, I'll say now, thank you all for watching this series. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I might be back with another part um, at some point if I decide to add any more characters. But for now, this is all I'm planning on doing. Um, there's the blood on the needles. But uh, if you liked watching these videos and want to see more speed paints, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Also, these will be going up for sale soon. All right. Thanks so much for watching.